Welcome back to the channel again. This is American Dilly, and today I'm jumping into a music video reaction by Upchurch, man. Ryan Upchurch dropped a new song. I know it's about two weeks old, man. The song is called Neck Too Red, and I've seen a lot of people talking about it, man, and a lot of people have asked, Dilly, when are you going to cover this song? I know you like Ryan Upchurch. I know you cover a lot of his music, and that is true. I've had a lot going on in my life, man. I just had a brand new baby boy. He's been born, so I've been trying to take care of that, trying to juggle my career my family, the new baby, just everything, man. We've been trying to juggle everything. But with that being said, I am jumping into Ryan Upchurch's brand new song today, Neck to Red. Now, before I jump into that video, man, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody who's been subscribing to this channel, man. 10,000, 10,000 is what we hit. And we are over that now, almost by 300, man. I'm trying to get to 11,000 now. If y'all could help me, that'd be great. Hit that bell, get them notifications, man. We're doing that. Also, in the description, there's a link to my online store, man. The Dilly Apparel. We have just drop these brand new shirts man they are awesome they're all pocket tees for the blue collar guys out there because everybody knows you got a little something you like to carry around with you boom it fits right there easy access for you while you're working while you're doing stuff while you're sweating these shirts are all beautiful cotton shirts man i got five designs this one right here i like to call the salute to america right here Okay, they got beautiful graphics done on the back, man. Shout out to American Dilly. Shout out to the people here, man. We put these shirts together ourselves. This is a red one we got. I call this the Don't Tread on Me. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, man. It is epic. It is epic. We have a gray one, too. I like to call this America's Sweetheart. As you can see, got the red on the front, and you got Marilyn on the back, man. She's doing her thing. So with that being said, let's jump into this Ryan Up Church video, man, and let's see what the boy is kicking with today, Nick. Too red, neck too red. And I know, I know, I know a lot of people out there have had something to say about this song. I'm anxious to jump into it and see. Ryan never disappoints with his videos. He always puts a lot of effort into it, and I just dig it. I dig the heart, I dig the soul that he puts into these. So let's do it, man. Let me let me not talk into death. Let's do it. All right, we got something in the beginning, real quick. All right, check this out, man. A world of culture vultures isn't scary. Okay, a word without a world without culture would be a vulture towards now this man. It's up on the screen, man. Y'all read it, man. I'm not the best reader, as y'all can tell, man. I'm just a I'm just a blue collar guy myself, man. All right. This is good, man. This is good. That's a quote by Ryan Upchurch. So let's jump into this video, man. Hit it, Ryan. It gives you time to read it. That's what I really dig. <laughs> there we go. Neck too red. Neck too red. Ooh. Riding on that Harley. No hands. Look at me, mama. No hands. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, coming in real quick. We got this. What is he? He's dressed in like a, a um a Civil War uniform, huh? Probably probably representing the South. That's ain't nothing wrong with that. That's where we all from. Man, I'm digging. Like what I said, man. He always comes with these visuals, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so already we're getting the, the gist of the song, man. The grip of the song. He said, they said his slang wouldn't catch on. They said that he wouldn't trend. They said he couldn't do this because his neck was too red. Obviously, he's been talking about that for a while, man, coming into the hip hop game and trying to break it down that a lot of people just don't know how to take different kinds of hip hop, which is kind of sad, man, which is really kind of sad when you think about it, because hip hop is about the artist telling their story in, in, in rhyme form. So anybody can do it. But for some reason, people think that, you know, a country guy can't. I don't understand why. I love how he puts the aspects of country music into his rhyming, into his songs. Let's jump in. Next to me. Mm. 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 And 
I dig this. The, I dig the way he's been doing it. Like he, he look nothing less than a rock star. Nothing less than a rock star. But what he's saying, man, blame God for his southern roots. Everybody likes to always put bash people for where they're from because of the way their brain thinks or where they look. That is just that is anywhere. Go anywhere, man. Go to Queens. Go to Queens, New York, and talk to them. And they're they're shaped by their culture. They are shaped by their aspect that they're in. Go upstate New York and talk to some people up in the mountains. They are shaped by where they are. Up church from Tennessee, being there, he's shaped by what's around him. That is a that is a rapper. A rapper is shaped by what is around them. They rap about what they see. They rap about what they live. They're not fake because they can only give you the portrayal of the story that is around them. Man, I'm digging. I'm digging what he's saying. Yeah. Woo Ooh. Ooh. See what I'm saying? He's saying growing up, man, they didn't know Scott Storch. They didn't know any of that stuff. They knew the, they knew hip hop. They knew what they liked. And then they knew what they lived. And bringing those aspects together. And what he's saying, too, is if you got a problem with it, just know that we ain't going to budge. We ain't going to budge for what your your demographic say should be being done. It's not. It's, it, mm, mm, I'm digging what he's doing, man. I love all this old war footage, too, man. So pro-American. So pro-American. I dig the I dig everything about this man. I dig the visuals in this man. This is mm. seeing him in this seeing it look, man, I'm gonna take it back. Seeing him in this Civil War uniform. And I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, people talking about he's like a time traveler or something, like he done came back. I can believe it, man. I can believe it when I look at that. You know, I know that that's probably just all conspiracy and all, you know, speculation. And I don't I don't judge any on that. But I can, like I said, man, I can see he, he dude, he embodies this. He embodies this. Proud of it. And he's rocking it. That's what's, that's what's beautiful about this, man. Mm. Mm, man, I'm digging this. Like what he's saying is they gon' they can't take it from him. He done came too high. He has just done too much. They can't take it from him. They cannot take what he has built from him. They're gonna have to have it when he's dead. Okay, and even after that, man, this music is gonna live on, bro. He's he is set a lane in hip hop, and a lot of people want to say he's created a subgenre. Well, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I just think it's another lane in hip hop. Hip hop is a big old highway, and he's put another lane on that highway. Construction. That's right, blue collar baby, and that's that dude. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Hmm. He said, the day I was born in Music City is the day the mainstream got outlawed. Like, oh my God, bro. He is killing this. Dude, he is killing this, bro. And he's telling him, this, he's laying his story out. Laying his story out. And you take it how you want it, man. You take it how you want it. He is putting on for the regular good old boy out there. And that's why I dig his music. I talk to a lot of people who are like, oh, well, I don't really know about him. Well, maybe you should listen to this catalog, man. Because he puts on for the good old boy, man. The good old boy like me, like y'all watching, like everybody, man. He puts on for us and gives us something proud to be. Proud man, you don't have to. You don't have to pretend to be a gangster. You don't have to do all this stuff to like hip hop. Now we got a lane. We got a lane, and we can enjoy it. I love it. I just love it so much, man.
They said his dream was a dead end. Well, they was dead wrong. Let me take that back. Mm. Woo. Digging on that. Jeez, 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 jeez. Mm. Ooh, man. Shout out to Up Church, man. Shout out to Up Church. He has come a long way since I started listening to him. Since that first song, man. Raise hell and eat cornbread. Raise hell and eat cornbread. Oh, man. Since then, he has come so far. And I love the progression, man. I love the build. I love what he's doing with his music, man. Because as I said, he is totally embodying this persona. And this persona is him. That's what I love the most, and that's why you can go on his YouTube channel, man. You can check him out. He's not giving you anything that he just doesn't give because that's him, and I dig it, man. At least that's what I'm picking up, okay? I, obviously, if I'm wrong, I, well, who cares because the music's beautiful, but I don't think I am, man. I think the dude is doing it true to himself, man, true from the heart, and that is what makes it beautiful, man. That's what makes it beautiful, man. If y'all like this video, leave me a like, subscribe down bottom in the comment. Comments are always accepted. I like the good, the bad, the ugly. I like all comments because that means in the comment section, we can talk about the music we know and love. If you got a request, drop it in the comments, man. If it's a new artist I've never heard, drop it in the comments, man. And I'll be coming in the Dilly Saloon and we'll be listening to it first right here with the Dilly Fam, man. Until next time, friends. Love your friends, love your family, love your neighbors. Most of all, love yourself. If you don't love yourself, how can you radiate that energy out there and love the people around you and make them like just feel loved? And once you once you radiate that and give it to somebody else, then all of a sudden you'll see the world start to change bit by bit by bit by bit. As I said, jump down in the descriptions. Go to our online store, man, and grab one of these shirts, man, because I'm telling you, man, these shirts... They're beautiful, man. They're beautiful. And we put them all together here, man. Every order will be put together with these hands right here, man. These hands will package it, send it out to you. And that is what it is, man. Until next time, friends, this was American Dilly. I am American Dilly. And I'm urging all y'all to stay safe. Stay safe out there in this crazy world, man. And take care of yours and your own. Peace. It's America.